television is what gave us John McCain as our nominee. You have got to apply to ABC, NBC, CBS. Um, newspapers, yes, they are obsolete. Do not apply to work for a newspaper. Um, CNN, and MSNBC, and just take college Republicans off your resume. <laughs> I know that you know that often elections in this country are fought within margins of small differences. This one will not be. We are arguing about hugely consequential things. Because they kept saying, oh, well, he's our president, and he's a Republican president, and, and, and a, a, a... Senator, Senator Clinton and Senator Obama will raise your taxes. Flip-flopper, flip-flopper, flip-flopper. And on the other side, McCain was one of two Republicans to vote against Bush's tax cuts twice. I intend to cut them. <laughs> I will start by making the Bush tax cuts permanent. I will cut corporate tax rates from 35 to 25 percent to keep industries and jobs in this country. If McCain is the Republican nominee, and it's close, uh, a serious case could be made to vote for Hillary Clinton with the same distaste expressed by Churchill when he allied with Stalin uh, to go against Hitler. And by the way, I'm not equating Hillary with Stalin, and for any of Stalin's descendants who interpreted it that way, I apologize. <laughs> And I'm also not compa comparing McCain to Hitler. Um, Hitler had a co coherent tax policy. I will end. I will end the alternate minimum tax, and I won't let a Democratic Congress raise your taxes and choke the growth of our economy. And I don't think we can do it with, <laughs> with airplanes. And I can assure you, Senator Coburn will hold me to it. <laughs> And I'm really sorry for you young right-wingers in your first presidential election. Right now, we have a choice among three Democrats. Um, who was it that said that um, economics was not John McCain's strong suit? Oh, I know, it was John McCain who said that. <laughs> My friends, this election is going to be about big things, not small things. Within a week, he had totally flipped on it. You know, this is a party dominated by conservatives. I think it's a travesty that we let this guy become our nominee. Do you think we can still stand up, do something, say, not this time, let's get Mitt Romney and perhaps you to run with him, and let's vote for some real conservatives? I suppose... I suppose the one thing seriously for a moment he could do, but he would never do because he is contumacious and, and stupid. My friends, this election is going to be about big things, not small things. Um, <laughs> is, is take Mitt Romney as his vice president, then I'd vote for him. I've... I've led one impeachment, I can lead another. <laughs> this is a bleak period in American history. A serious case can be made that Hillary would be the more conservative president than John McCain. Uh, to Republicans who insist I vote for McCain simply in order to stop Hillary, I quote John McCain, who last year said, I'm sure that Senator Clinton would make a good president. My friends, this election is going to be about big things, not small things. I think the only thing he could, he could do for us is invent a time machine, go back in time, not promote McCain-Feingold, not vote against Bush's tax cuts, not support shutting down Guantanamo, not hysterically oppose waterboarding, not call the swift boat veterans dishonest and dishonorable, not attack Jerry Falwell and, and Pat Robertson as agents of intolerance, not promote with Teddy Kennedy um, McCain-Kennedy to give 20 million illegal aliens amnesty, not repeatedly lie about Mitt Romney on TV, and on, and on, and on.
My friends, this election is going to be about big things, not small things. I don't think my girl, Hillary, is going to listen to Teddy Kennedy anymore. <laughs> I've heard conflicting reports, but I was just wondering if um, you've ever dated a liberal before. I don't think my girl, Hillary, is going to listen to Teddy Kennedy anymore. <laughs> um, they're not liberal for long. <laughs> um, uh, if, you know, John McCain gets elected president, which I think he will be, our next president, and in his first term, he does cut taxes. He does nominate a seriously conservative uh, you know, uh, Supreme Court judge and he does uh, change his heart on immigration, does clamp down. Will you change your heart and will you go vote for him uh, in 2012? Yeah, of course, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> and what if, you know, I win a billion dollar lottery? Wouldn't life be grand? <laughs> How about this? If that happens, I will marry you. Thank <laughs> you.